taking more than a few cues from Hotline Miami, Katana Zero is a blisteringly fast slash em up with action that's an absolute adrenaline rush. Which is appropriate because it's largely about a neo noir inspired samurai who sticks a bunch of needles into his body. It wears its inspirations on the sleeves of its kimono, but Katana Zero refines the tried and true one hit kill formula in a manner that makes it feel fresh, exciting, and innovative in surprising ways. In extremely clever and fun framing of the action, Katana Zero puts you in control of a nameless samurai assassin with the power to manipulate time and see into the future. Every level is contextualized as the planning stages of an assassination. So instead of your character dying, you're told, no, that won't work. As your precognition rewinds back to the start and gives you another chance to find a solution that doesn't end in your death. Every level even ends with the security camera recording of what actually happened, which serves not only as a way to see your moment of triumph played back, but also to subvert expectations in interesting ways later on. Working up to that moment is a blast because Katana Zero's action is fast paced and empoweringly flexible. Your character can slash in eight directions, slow time, use a dodge roll to avoid bullets, and even reflect bullets back with a sword. There's a great flow and feel to the movement thanks to small touches like how each sword swing gives you a slight boost of momentum, or how you can cancel out of any roll, and the way each kill gives a satisfying screen shake and pause to the action, both of which can be adjusted or disabled in the options. My favorite thing about the action of Katana Zero though, is the slow-mo effect. Specifically, how optional it is and how it never feels too strong. It's on a pretty strict cooldown and since enemies will hear whenever gunfire rings out, you'll rarely have time to stay safe long enough for it to replenish. This puts it in a perfect spot as a powerful ability to get you through a tough situation while still being limited enough to keep the action quick. As I got better at reflecting bullets in real time, I found myself trying to wean myself off of using slow-mo as much as I could, keeping it instead as a get out of jail free card when things got too hectic. Katana Zero's story doesn't quite hit the high note that its action does, but it's at least carried by strong writing, a few great characters, and an innovative dialogue system that knows when you're skipping cutscenes and lets NPCs get annoyed with you for it. That being said, any deviations in the story due to my choices felt largely superficial, so there were times when later dialogue options felt wildly inconsistent with my previous decisions. The biggest issue though is the fact that very little is resolved by the time the credits roll after 4-6 to six hours. It feels like Katana Zero is planned to be the first part in a series of games, and I'm interested to see where a potential sequel or DLC might go from here. But it's hard not to feel like the story of this first chapter was all build up and no payoff. But it's a very tight 4-6 to six hours, it never feels like it's running out of ideas or patting itself out, and every level does a great job of introducing small twists to its simple formula. It also helps that everything looks and sounds great. The slick neon aesthetic and fantastic sprite work go hand in hand with some legitimately impressive 2D lighting effects that give Katana Zero a unique visual style and personality. There's also a fitting and fantastic retro electro soundtrack to go along with the action. Katana Zero's excellent time-bending samurai action is the star of the show here, but its unique presentation and entertaining dialogue go a long way in supporting a plot that suffers from feeling like it's saving its best ideas for a sequel. As action games go, the shorter length makes it a quick fix, and I'll no doubt suffer withdrawal while I wait for the next hit. For more Katana Zero, check out the first few minutes of the game along with our Let's Play with creator Justin Standard. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.